if you spam enough bullets and eventually you hit them in the weak point. You know, I wanna... Oh my god, ambushed. Oh, get bored. Yeah, line up, line up, line up. There you go. So that's a thing that I don't want. That's also a thing I don't want. Now we're on top of this ship, which there are enemies, if you're wondering. damage to Ness, nope, those are all bad. And then we can get back to Herbert's shack by jumping off the back of this. So there's two giant circles in this map. And that's the... Uh, that's the design. You fight through one loop, get to the hut, fight through the second loop, come back to the hut and then you leave. the tapes? Once you deliver those with the last piece of the compass, Scarlet will have to take me back. The last compass piece is in that chest. It's been here the whole time. It's been sitting there the whole time. Ah, must be rusted. Rusty, rusty. Just shoot the lock. Shot destroyed the last piece of the legendary compass. It's so lame. It's so lame. Whoops. Yeah, right. Looks like when you shot the lock, you blasted the final compass piece into bits. Okay, this is bad. Um, no, wait. Uh, I can make a replacement. I just need parts. Just get to the Washburn Refinery. Go, go, go! Get to the Washburn Refinery. Huh. Jumping off. <clears throat> so here you can activate this little gondola. Which means that afterwards, if you come back to this map, you can just fast travel using the gondola to get back to Herbert. So you, you unlock the map. I mean, it's, the map. this map is pretty clever. Two loops, a central vista, and then you unlock the uh, the way back. So next time we can get back to him without fighting all the enemies. We sell all you the crap. Selling all the stuff that. Whoa, that's a. It's more damage. We have those. Brown zebra is not locked. Unlocked, I mean. Don't need. Wait a minute. In my have okay, we don't want those. So this gives me plus three headshots. Twenty six, twenty one, twenty eight, twenty six. But no skill. I'm just gonna hold out for a better class mod. 
Alright, again back to Wormwater. We have to go to Washburn Refinery now. Easy. Washburn Refinery is back here. You can kind of see it in the distance, but you see how the, the rocks block the view. There's a smokestack up there. So when you get to here, then you can see the refinery. But I'm like... I would ask, like, why did they not make the map so that you could see the refinery in the distance? From further away. So there should be these landmarks. The... The... Scarlet ship, the refinery. I mean, these things should be landmarks that you can see from a distance, but they're not. They're all hidden away in these little valleys that you then just can't see them. So they don't serve as landmarks. And they don't help you navigate the map. Also, you can bypass some of the path by just jumping up here. <laughs> it's a bit dubious, really. But you can... It seems to indicate that it's not designed very well, right? If, if you can just bypass stuff. Although you don't really bypass that much. I mean, there's a little path over there. You still have to fight some enemies. Either way. Huh? You can jump in from the outside from there. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's a robot up there. Which could be a problem. Let's see how this gun does. So Washburn Refinery is a giant building on top of the cliff, which indicates that it might be older than all this stuff, right? So the refinery might have been here from before all the water disappeared. So the ships are at that level, the refinery at this level. See what I mean? So it's one of the few buildings that is that's above the, the shipwrecks. And also, there's the lighthouse. So it could be that the lighthouse and the refinery and the ships were from an older time when the water was still higher up. And, and these are transport ships that serve the uh, refinery. I mean, that, that seems to be what is indicated. This pistol is amazing. I'm not sure what architecture this is. Oh, it must be Dao architecture. It's a little bit similar to the um, the Bloodshot Stronghold, isn't it? It is similar to Bloodshot the Stronghold. Part of the compass, but I'll need some samples of polycriton. And once you get those, I can rebuild the key and give it to Scarlet, and it'll help her find where the treasure is buried, and she'll marry me, and we'll have a hundred babies, and I'll never die. It'll be perfect. Welcome, Cassandra. Sure, dude. Nothing like a good sale. Don't have to So this is... This looks like old Dao architecture. And even the, the music is the same as... 
as the Bloodshock Stronghold. Also, you, the the frame rates are lower in this part of the game. This map lags much more than the others. I think it's all the transparency. Like when I shoot the gun, it doesn't even seem to be burst firing. Hey, it's lagging a lot. It could be all this transparency stuff. I enjoy that. Back in Borderlands 1, there was also a map that lagged a lot. I mean, it's just not uh, balanced, I guess. It's not um, tested for frame rates. We don't need. Huh. I'm checking the recording to see if that's yes, lagging. Just a few more bits of polycrytin. I've studied the lost treasure of the sands for months now. I'll rebuild the compass for her. Felt like I should have killed him sooner. Don't remember if there's anything up here. Nope. So we need three more pieces of polycrytin. Which apparently is a construction material of some sort. As the game continues to lag. There's Hyperion bots in here though, which is a little bit strange. Cause... The story is that... I mean, if this is Dao architecture, which is the... which it is, it's not Hyperion architecture. But the loaders are... Hyperion tech. I mean, unless Jack also stole the robots from other people instead of inventing them himself, which is possible. I'm trying to 
trying to hit it with the arm. It's not working. Alright, well, this is a room where enemies just spawn on you. I guess if you don't know, if you run in, I guess you'll be in trouble, because then you'll be in the low ground, surrounded by robots coming in the high ground. But if you know that's gonna happen, you can always just retreat back there and snipe them from a distance, like I did. Which makes it completely trivial. They spawn up there. I don't remember if you can get in there. Let me just check this. Mine. So much junk that we're never gonna use. Forge array, so this is where the uh Build stuff with the Polycriton, I guess. Let me grab this before I. You know, I bet Scarlet's getting lonely. Yep, I'm pretty sure she regrets kicking me out to the rust yard. <laughs> nope. Ah, uh, no. Indeed. Doing fine. Hey, this gun is pretty good. Accurate burst fire. Long range. Oh my god, frame rates. I think it's the transparent, this stuff. I think it's that stuff. That's causing the lag. Like when I'm doing, when looking this way, there's no lag. When I'm looking that way, there's more lag. Find six additional pieces of contraband. Oh, this pawn mags. Bulk triple barrel is not what we want. You've almost got enough polycriton. Once I give you the last piece of the compass, you'll need to combine all four pieces and take them to the Magnus Lighthouse. That is where you will find the burial place of the lost treasure of the sands. 
Yeah, it's this transparency that's causing the lag. Welcome to my humble shop. A pleasure as always. Let's put that back. Let's throw all this away. Shotgun and other crap. So another raid boss is back there. Hyperius the Invincible. So we can't access him until we finish the the DLC. Oh my god, lag. I think this time it's the smoke. So smoke is also transparency. 